uh, welcome in my simple demonstration of uh, recovery manager tool in Oracle 12c. Today I will show you how uh, a very simple scenario works using this tool, uh, how to do a backup and uh, restore a database uh, when um, after a media disaster. Media disaster. Uh, this tool is very important for every Oracle DBA and every DBA should be not even familiar but expert exp uh, and should be an expert in this tool. Um, so this my simple demonstration is just an introduction to using uh, this tool. Uh, I encourage you to test many different scenarios on your own uh, if you haven't done that uh, yet. Uh, I will show you only one of them uh, today uh, to show you how it uh, works. Uh, uh, this is um, a plan for my demonstration today. Uh, first I will make a backup using Arman, then I will cause a disaster. Mm, yes, you are right. I will not do that on production, I will do it on test, safe test environment, uh, dev environment. So um, after a disaster I will uh, show you how to restore and recover your database. Um, this is very simple procedure but uh, as I said it's very very important to uh, to do it at least once uh, to to see how it works and uh, to be ready for real production disaster real production um, restore and recovery operation we always hope that it never happens but sometimes it, it really happens disasters is not something uh, uh, only in our imagination Please take a look at like as uh, please take a look like my uh, green database looks like. It's green. Um, green means it's open. Uh, I have a container database C called CDBRAC. I have a pluggable database inside of the the first one. It's PDBRAC and it's also open and operational. Um, I will use this diagram later. How to, to present you the current state of, of the database. Uh, to prove that it's open and operational, I will uh, query my database. Um, you can see that I got a result, so database is working um, and operating, serving uh, my queries. And so you can assume that my database uh, is in a good state uh, right now. Uh, so let's go back to the plan. And the first step is is, is making a, is making a, a backup. Uh, to make a backup, I will use Arman, as I said at the beginning. Uh, to connect to Arman, first I need to make sure my uh, uh, I will actually I will just uh, uh, use uh, Arman command, uh, then I will uh, target means that it's uh, target my uh, tar target uh, database. I will use uh, this one uh, and let's connect. Um, Arman says it's uh, connected to CDB rack, and here is DBID. And uh, you can see a prompt Arman uh, here. Uh, I can, there are multiple different operations I can execute from this command line. Uh, I can list uh, uh, backups that I are already done. Uh, list uh, backup set. You can see there are already some uh, some database backups, but uh, let's not focus on them. The last one is uh, backup set uh, 32. Uh, now, what uh, going back to uh, our goal, let's make a backup first. Uh, backup, uh, the fu fu full backup, the simplest one, uh, we can uh, do by executing uh, command backup database. This is the simplest version. 
uh, it will use um, the, fast, the fast recovery area if it's configured and uh, if, it, if it's configured or it will use um, default location for, for backups if uh, fa the fast recovery area is not configured. Let's execute it and now Arman starts uh, backing up uh, my data files. Uh, it will take um, uh, it will take some time. It is worth to mention that uh, during the whole backup operation, my database is uh, operational, and I can um, still uh, query my database, update uh, tables, uh, uh, update my data, insert, delete, uh, and so on. I can fully use my uh, my database during those uh, these backup uh, operations. Uh, Arman can handle uh, that and it uh, makes uh, the backups procedure still successful even if I modify uh, data in, in meantime. And it is done. Uh, it took a few minutes in my case. Uh, my database is not so big. If your database has uh, many gigabytes of data, it will take much, much longer. Uh, let's uh, check. Uh, list of uh, my backup sets. Let's see uh, what has changed. Okay, uh, previously we had uh, 32. It was the last one. Uh, and now uh, you can see that 33, 34, 35 and 36 uh, were created. Hmm. Why? You can. You may ask why. Why I? Why there are uh, four additional backup sets if I requested one backup? Why? Yes. Um, this is how Arman does it. Uh, in SQL Server, if you issue a backup command, you will get one file, and you can restore the whole database with one file from one file. Here in Arman, no. You will get. Uh, <coughs> Sorry, you will get uh, a few uh, backup sets depending on your database configuration. Um, in my case, uh, do, without going into details, <coughs> 33 backup set is uh, uh, a backup of my pluggable database. Here is a list of files inside. 34 is a backup uh, set containing. Uh, container database and 35 is uh, a system pluggable database pdb uh, dollar sign seed and 36 is uh, automatic control file and sp file uh, backup set uh, so after this operation i've got four new uh, backup sets by issuing only one uh, command uh, so here we are on the plan we uh, I completed uh, making a backup. Uh, now I will uh, simulate a, a disaster. Yeah, it's time for a disaster. Uh, yes, yes, I'm not on production. I'm on a safe test environment. Do not try it at home. Ah, joking. Uh, let's exit Arman. Uh, I will go to um, ASM and I will delete uh, one of my data files. Uh, to operate on ASM, I need to switch to uh, uh, grid uh, oracle seed. Uh, uh, and now I can issue ASM uh, CMD command. Uh, this tool uh, help, uh, allows me to operate uh, on ASM uh, file system. I can uh, see what files are there and make some basic operations on it. There is a ls command, for example. I can list the directories. Uh, and I will go to uh, uh, my data file. Yes, and this file I'm going to delete. Uh, Yes, but first I need to stop. Uh, I need to delete this. Uh, it will not uh, allow me to delete the file. You can see it here. 
Yes, it cannot be deleted because it's currently in use. So before I do it, I need to uh, stop uh, the instance. Uh, so I need to, uh, to log in to SQL Plus with sysdba privileges and shut down immediate. Uh, sorry, I need to again switch to uh, my database uh, Oracle Seed, not uh, the grid one. And SQL Plus again and shut down gate. Database closed, dismounted, and shut down. Uh, let's exit SQL Plus. Uh, switch to grid oracle seed uh, asm cmd again and let's navigate to my data file yes and i will delete it yeah it's successful i think i caused the disaster uh, my database is shut down, so it doesn't know yet about it. My, uh, doesn't know about my bad behavior. Uh, so let's uh, let's uh, let uh, the database know about it. So again, uh, switching back to a database environment, uh, SQL Plus. Uh, connected to an idle instance means the database is shut down or not available. So let's start it up. Start up, open, and let's see what happens. Uh, my container database is in open state. Uh, let's open also a pluggable database. And you can see it crashed. Uh, pluggable database cannot be open because a uh, data file is missing. Um, to summarize, uh, this is how my currently my database looks like. Uh, container database is in open state uh, and pluggable database is not in open state. It's mounted. Uh, it cannot be started because cannot be started because uh, a data file uh, is missing. So you can see I uh, successfully accomplished a disaster mission. If you, I can, if you can say accomplishment, it's an accomplishment. Uh, so point two is done, and now I go to uh, restore and recovery. Uh, to restore and recover my database, I need to have my database in uh, mount mode. Uh, so I need to shut down uh, my database uh, now because if you if you remember uh, my container database is open um, and I need it to be in mount state. So let's uh, shut it down first uh, and then start it uh, again, but in mount mode, not open. Uh, so startup mount it's done so this is uh, my green database was uh, it was green but now it's uh, not green all uh, container and plugable are mounted uh, so i can perform uh, restore and recovery uh, to do that i also need to go to arman I want to connect to my target database and uh, with um, OS uh, user. I'm in Arman. Um, now restoring it is extremely simple. It's very, very, very simple. Arman is an intelligent tool. Uh, 
and all I need to do right now to restore is to uh, issue a restore database command. Uh, Arman knows what uh, backups uh, are done, so uh, I will let him choose which uh, database backup, which backup set uh, should be ex uh, uh, reused for the restore operation. Uh, for uh, the to be most efficient and get the latest most uh, fresh data uh, possible it will also take uh, a few minutes to restore and uh, it will use uh, all four uh, backup sets that it created uh, previously and the restore operation is done now it's the second part uh, recovery recover uh, database it's a necessary part uh, but it, in my case it will be very very short because uh, there was no big traffic uh, on my database uh, and it's done uh, just to remind you my this is third state uh, of my database uh, both are mounted and restored uh, so now I should open them and make them green again uh, so go. I need to go to SQL Plus uh, and uh, startup open. Uh, I cannot use startup. I will use alter database open, and it will go to open state, and it's done. Uh, now alt uh, now pluggable database I need to do the same alter pluggable database pdb rack open it seems to be also done uh, this is how my database looks like both are open my life is again happy my database my universe is green uh, Everything is fine, at least I hope so. Let's confirm it using SQL Developer. I will uh, try to... Oh, yes, uh, in the meantime I lost connection because I uh, shut down uh, my database. Uh, so I need to reconnect. I'm reconnected. And yes, I can again query my database, so the life is beautiful, everything is fine, and I, I am happy. Uh, mission accomplished. Uh, this is how what we what we've done. The the, the whole scenario is uh, executed successfully. This is how I did it. Uh, so I'm at the beginning. I I made a backup using Arman backup database command. Then I simulated a disaster. Um, I deleted a data file and uh, restore and recovery I did by issuing two comments restore database and recover database and as you can see everything uh, worked fine and I got my database back yes uh, this is not ideal if a disaster happens there are almost always some victims is not uh, yes someone is uh, hurt because uh, in this case, um, restore operations took me a few minutes, so during those few minutes uh, my database is not accessible by users. Um, probably some transactions are lost because uh, between back backing up a database and simulating a disaster, something uh, could go into the database and it was never backed up. So I lost it and I cannot restore it in this scenario. Uh, but uh, I have my database uh, back to a point in time uh, as of uh, backup, backing up my database. Uh, I think that's all. Uh, thank you for watching this video. Thank you for being with me. I appreciate your comments. Um, and um, I hope you look forward to um, my next uh, videos. Uh, thank you very much.